guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we're taking a look at an affordable dress watch by Thomas Earnshaw. And please keep in mind, uh, if you want to save 30% on any of these watches, you can use the code WA30 at checkout, and that will save you a lot of money. Anyway, this is the Grand Legacy 8810-01 in the stainless steel case. And as you can see, it is an automatic watch, of course, more of a dressy, kind of classic styled watch with these slight, I would say, italicized Roman numerals, as you can see here. Anyway, let's start off with some basic specifications on this timepiece. Case diameter, we are looking at 42 millimeters on this circular stainless steel case. In terms of thickness, we are looking at 13.5 millimeters with Earnshaw, which is pretty typical. Most of their watches lately have had this engraving on the side with the Earnshaw logo. In terms of the lug width, we get a 20 millimeter between the lugs, strap tapers down to 18. So uh, very nice dimensions, not too bad. It is kind of like a bubble case or a very circular case. Uh, the crown as well, if I didn't get you in here, is signed with the double E, which is pretty cool. Now the thing I like about this watch compared to some of their other watches is the actual movement used inside. As you can see, we get a skeleton circular window through the front of the watch which resides below these nice blue hands which are quite long and do reach all the minute markings over here so you can you know it's easier to set the time I would say these hands are definitely Breguet styled with the little circle at the end which is is uh, skeletonized as well now the movement inside of this watch is the Seiko NH35 movement so it's hacking hand winding it features 24 jewels about a 30 a 35 to 40 hour power reserve I would say so you get that nice self-winding. If I pull it out to one position, we can uh, set the time here. As you can see, the seconds hand has come to a complete stop. And yeah, it's fairly good. Everything functions fairly nice. It is a pull and push crown with only 50 meters of water resistance, so don't think about taking this in the water. This is for more formal occasions and attire. Now the case back, which still has the plastic on it. So as you can see, this is the NH35 Seiko movement. They did add a custom rotor with the Earnshaw 1805 logo. As you can see, Japan movement, 24 joules. And this is the NH35. I know exactly what that movement looks like. I review a lot of watches with that movement, 8810 all stainless steel. We're basically looking at an all polished case here. Everything is polished. There's absolutely no brushing. The wire lugs are polished as well and the case back is screwed down and polished as well. Now the strap is an embossed genuine leather strap 20 millimeters tapers to 18 for a nice fit. Let's look at the buckle here. Nice little Earnshaw signed buckle with the E for Earnshaw. This is the same buckle basically on all of their watches so it's pretty typical. The strap as well decent quality strap quite supple on the wrist. Now there is no loom on this watch but my favorite part of the watch, if I get you in close here, is these nice Roman numerals. Kind of reminds me of a Patek Philippe watch or something like that. Also like the blue hands, it kind of all goes around nicely. And even better, you can see the movement at work right there, as you can see right now, right through this hardened mineral crystal. Anyway, let me throw this on my wrist to show you exactly what it looks like. Here is the Grand Legacy Automatic on my 6.5 inch wrist. Across, it does fit. You know, a little over, I would say, but these lugs are quite small, so it kind of sits flat on the wrist. Not too bad there. Um, I think it looks pretty good. You know, it's a nice classic looking watch. It's not too heavy, but it's not too light. You have that nice signed buckle. And yeah, it's not that expensive. I believe this one comes in it's under $500, of course. Um, uh, something around there, like three or 400 US dollars. But of course, you can save 30% with the code WA30. So I would always use that code if you're looking to buy one of these watches. And they also offer discounts like all over the place. If you look on their website, you get like a pop-up that can save you 15%. So definitely don't pay retail for these watches. There's always a discount code. And yeah, that's pretty much it for today. I wanna to know what you guys think of this watch. I think it's not a bad looking watch. I like the fact that they um, apply the Seiko NH35 movement here instead of you know, some of the other Japanese movements that they usually use. I think it's something different and new for them. I think they should be doing this in a lot more of their watches. Uh, the NH35 is a great movement. The finishing on the case as well, it, it's, it looks pretty good. You know, the high polish, there's no mistakes or blemishes there or anything like that. 
Uh, everything looks pretty good from my end. Hope you guys enjoyed. Definitely let me know what you think. Share, like, tell your friends. Subscribe to the channel, of course, and I hope to see you guys on the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye.